Okay, okay, we need to take the images that we're seeing on our screens right now. It appears to be, uh, I guess we'd say, mobile police officers. You can see them there uh, holding what looks to be tear gas, tear gas canisters. canisters. Uh, one has been fired right now. That's another one being fired right now. Uh, if we can get Ben, he will be able to tell us what is going on in a safe location. Um, but we're seeing tear gas now being fired at uh, those Nigerians who are on the streets in Ikeja in um, Ganifai Omi Park on the road right now you can see that young man there uh, people want to obviously talk about what is what is what is ailing them what mm. their complaints are and i think one of the conversations i picked up uh, from one of your guests this morning was that in terms of stifling that stopping people from being able to express you end up to a point where you are literally almost setting a keg of gunpowder on fire exactly. as long as you don't and allow it, people and to it's talk. quite anti-democratic mm. uh, coming on a day where we say we're celebrating democracy day to look once the Police operatives mm. uh, fire tear gas. It only means one thing. They want the people to disperse. Yeah. So they're not wanted there. Uh, they could argue that they're obstructing uh, vehicular traffic because mm -hmm. uh, they have taken a lane off the uh, express uh, road there. But uh, you can see that, uh, I mean, the sting of tear gas is not... Thomas, Donald, can you hear me? Come on to us. Yes. Hello, Ben. We can hear I'm so sorry. Ben, we can hear you. Ben, we can hear you. Please go ahead and tell us what's going on if you can hear me. All right, the police have arrived here and they have fired five canisters of tear gas. Our eyes are teary and red. Um, and that's the sixth one, if you can hear me. That's the seventh and the eighth. Now, the protesters arrived from behind. The police first came close um, to tell, uh, okay, now we have to move. You can hear the shots now. We actually have to move out of the way. The police have dispersed the protesters. Just a few of them um, can actually move. Everybody here um, has dispersed. Our eyes are red and teary, I tell you. Um, the police tried to separate the protesters from um, journalists, saying that the protesters are beginning to infiltrate the group of journalists and are mixing up. So because of that, uh, they had to fire canisters of tear gas. At least seven canisters have been fired. It's difficult to see out here. Um, and the shots are continuing. So now on the road, you can hardly find anybody. Everybody's leaving the road. There's more police presence on the ground now. We've had to put on our ID cards so that we can be differentiated from the protesters. But that is currently the situation on ground right now. All right, Ben, if you can't hear us, we saw a banner um, at the beginning. We saw a banner at the front. Please, Ben, get to somewhere a bit safer. Can you, if you get can. to a safe location? Please, if, you, if we don't have to see you, that's fine. We can see the visuals. But we saw a banner at the front of the group um, that okay, was now on the, the road. Is can you going tell us after who the was protesters, protesting? if you can hear me? Um, oh they are being chased. Thomas, take the shot, please. Protesters are being chased down by police. Please if you can see that, the police are uh, actually Bennett, shooting guns. They are wow. shooting guns. <laughs> Ben, I, we not really just tear gas now, they're that actually we shooting. Yeah, we, cannot, we cannot tell if these are rubber bullets or these are live rounds. But you can see the police now trying to apprehend some protesters. Yeah, yeah and that's it. One protester has been apprehended right there. He's been taken away. Our camera has been blocked, and we've been told to stop recording these shots. We have to move out of sight now. Please move. Uh, Please but we're still recording. Thomas, keep rolling. To safe, uh, keep rolling. All right, more vehicles are coming. Step out of the way. We're asking you to keep rolling, but please Situation do it actually safely, heated up here. Ben. Um, um, move over, move and, uh, away. If you can, keep the rolling, but who please do it come safely. Out, have run uh, into, we are seeing... into the communities. Um, so that they can run away. Now, the young man that's been taken away is the one who spoke to us in the morning. He's the one in black. Thomas, that young man who's been taken away presently is the first guy who spoke to us this morning. And the police have picked him up. And uh, Bernard, when you spoke with him... And this is another him, one as well. So when you spoke now we are being asked to identify ourselves with our ID cards so that they can differentiate between journalists and protesters. That's what's happening on ground right now. More shots are being fired. 
Um, Bernard, you said you spoke to a gentleman that was just arrested um, Apparently seems earlier. Somebody has been taken under trying to identify or differentiate if he is actually a journalist or a protester. So this is the challenge and the police have asked the journalist to please make sure that they are properly identified with ID cards or with jackets that state uh, that they are press officials. But clearly, uh, you can hear gunfire. We've had at least seven um, canisters of tear gas being fired. Some of us have been affected, uh, but now the air is clear. And we've been, we've um, been asked ben, to clear now, uh, so we would have to move away. Uh, we have to move away. The police have asked us to leave this area. Uh, ben, if you can hear Thomas. us, we'd like to know a bit more about All the right, protest. All right, so the pol police basically today. have cleared the road. That's the Korodu Road.